What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing, and I just finished up watching Julio Cesar Martinez versus McWilliams Arroyo, and this was a 12-rounder for the WBC Flyweight World Championship, and this fight was Friday, November 19th from the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire, and this fight was broadcasted on the zone, and in this fight, Julio Cesar Martinez and McWilliams Arroyo fought two rounds of war. I mean, that was an excellent fight up until, I mean, I'm just going to say it bluntly, um, Arroyo quit in his corner. I know he quit. I mean, it was just obvious. I mean, I'm just going to break down the fight and give you some evidence on why I think he did quit. But, I mean, there was an uh, accidental headbutt, and um, Arroyo had that cut over his eye. And um, when it, he got to the corner at the – just about when the third round was about to start, he was saying he can't see his corner was holding whatever, an ice pack over his eye, whatever it was. And um, – yeah, I mean, then the doctor took a look at it, and once the doctor started administrating a test, like, to see if his eye was working well, like, holding up the fingers and whatnot, uh, he covered his good eye, and Arroyo immediately started to squinch up his other eye and said, I can't see, so then the referee, or the doctor, I should say, said he can't see, so he can't continue, and then, obviously, that is a no contest because of an accidental headbutt, but the thing is, I mean, Arroyo, he started out strong in that first round, I mean, this was... An excellent fight while it lasted. Arroyo actually dropped Martinez with a beautiful overhand right, which hurt him, followed by another overhand right then, which ultimately dropped him was a hook and an uppercut. I believe it was a left hook followed by a right uppercut. But then, right after Arroyo got dropped, he got wobbled back from Martinez from a hook from him. And then later on in that round, um, Martinez dropped um, Arroyo badly with a beautiful left hook to the chin. Arroyo got up, but then in the second round, Arroyo was shaking even more. That's where the um, cut happened. And then towards the middle part of that round, um, Arroyo got dropped again with a left hook plus a push. I mean, it could have been called no knockdown considering there was a push involved, but Arroyo did get caught with a beautiful left hook that did shake him up a bit. But, um, yeah, after that second round, I mean, Arroyo looked defeated, and Martinez, although, although he got dropped, he looked like the far stronger man. Arroyo, once again, he, as I said before, he looked defeated, and he was dropped twice, and he looked like he was on his way to getting stopped possibly in the next couple of rounds. But then, obviously, he took that chance in his corner. He knew it wasn't past four rounds, and he said, uh, I can't see, doctor, and he waved it off. So this fight officially is a no contest. What is next? For Julio Cesar Martinez and McWilliams Arroyo, I would love to see this fight actually happen. I mean, it was supposed to happen in February. It was supposed to happen in all these other dates. And now we finally get it, and it ends like this, which is so disappointing. But I hope these two could actually get it on in the ring. And um, if not, I would love to see Martinez fight uh, another world champion, specifically Sonny Edwards, someone like that. Um, the brother of Charlie Edwards, who um, Julio Cesar Martinez actually had a no contest with. Very controversial with that body shot that landed after he dropped him and whatnot. But more into what is next actually for Arroyo, if not for a rematch between these two. Maybe it's just a big fight where he could defend his interim title that he won against Abraham uh, Rodriguez um, back in February when they were actually supposed to fight originally. Um, so overall, Julio Cesar Martinez and um, Nick Williams Arroyo fight to a no contest. Um, overall disappointing result to a fight that was very hyped up and many people wanted to see. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.